हे व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू माई ऑर्किड वर्ल्ड विंटर सीजन इज स्लोली सेटिंग इन इन द नॉर्दर्न हेमिसफियर इन मोस्ट प्लेसेस इन माई प्लेस ऑल्सो टेम्परेचर्स हैव कूल डाउन डेज आर ए बिट वॉम द सन कम्स अप एंड नाइट्स आर कोल्ड बिकॉज वी यूजली फील द कोल्ड वेन यू गो आउट एंड सिंस वी आर फीलिंग द कोल्ड आर प्रेशियस ऑर्किड्स आर ऑल्सो फीलिंग द सेम इट्स सिमिलर if uh, we are feeling the cold if we feel heat and they also feel the heat and similarly if we feel the cold uh, they feel the cold too so as winter has uh, set in we need to make few changes in the care routine of our orchids specifically the phalaenopsis orchids and we will concentrate mainly on phalaenopsis orchids how different it is to care for our phalaenopsis orchids in winter how to fertilize them how to water them and all of the stuff so let us begin first of all we will talk about fertilizers because this is a very crucial step that will ensure all your phalaenopsis orchids put out spikes and they bloom nicely without any bud blast so we will talk about fertilizers first we will later on discuss about general care routine of phalaenopsis orchids which is also very important when you when your orchids are growing in the summer season so first let us talk about fertilizers uh take your favorite fertilizer whichever you want to apply which is good for your orchids i have talked about it one in one of my videos please check out that video uh apply fertilizer to your orchids uh when temperature starts cooling down soak your orchids in the diluted fertilizer for about 20 to 30 minutes that should be sufficient and apply the bloom booster whichever i which i use apply the bloom booster in a gap of say 20 to 25 days and after just after the application of the second uh, time of fertilizer you will notice that uh, your phalaenopsis orchids are putting out spikes one or two of my uh, phalaenopsis orchids have already put out spikes i'll show you later in the video so after 20 to 30 minutes you can take out your uh, phalaenopsis orchids they soak up enough fertilizer in this time and then you can put it back in their original place after a gap of 20 days apply the bloom booster once again and then after a few days you will see that the phalaenopsis orchids have already put out spikes this has helped me for several years now and it has not failed in my case so i think it will work for you also but it also depends on the growing conditions of the phalaenopsis orchids how your orchids have grown in the summer season whether there are spaces to put out spikes so please make sure your orchids have grown well phalaenopsis orchids require medium uh, light uh less than your vandas your cattleyas and dendrobiums so ideal place to uh, put your phalaenopsis orchids is somewhat uh, say one layer inside from your vandas and cattleyas and dendrobiums so they need moderate light do not keep them in direct sunlight at any time morning sunlight can be given to them but you should keep a check that the sunlight doesn't fall on them at noon uh say till 12 o'clock it is fine uh, it will not harm the phalaenopsis orchids but after 12 o'clock the sun usually heats up even in winter so keep a check that the phalaenopsis orchids are not in afternoon sun at all because it will lead to your leaf rot and eventually your phalaenopsis orchid may be uh, dead uh, because leaves are uh, very crucial for phalaenopsis orchids and uh, they should be protected from direct sun uh, at all times general process of watering phalaenopsis orchids in winter is to soak them in water for 20 to 30 minutes you can put two three phalaenopsis orchids together if you have a big tree and uh, then allow them to sit in the water for maximum 30 minutes and then you can take them out and uh, uh, you are good to go uh, give at least uh, a period of drying for the media of the phalaenopsis orchids 
and the roots to dry out so that you can water them again do not water if the media is uh, moist so it will lead to root rot uh, which is very risky for phalaenopsis orchids eventually it will lead to the death of the orchid because as i have said before phalaenopsis orchids are very sensitive to root rot and crown rot orchids phalaenopsis orchids that are sitting on humidity trays can be watered by directly pouring the water on the pot itself the water will accumulate in the humidity tray the media will get uh, soaked up and then after 30 minutes you can uh, use the water somewhere else in some other plants so this is the general method of uh, watering phalaenopsis orchids the top layer of the Uh, media should be dry before you water phalaenopsis orchids again uh, they should be kept on more on the drier side because uh, it helps them grow uh, new roots and new leaves so phalaenopsis orchids require medium quantity of water uh, not much like vandas or cattleyas so uh, you should keep this in mind because more water means uh, the media will be moist and in turn the roots will be continuously in Uh, moist conditions which can lead to uh, root rot and eventually your orchids may die when phalaenopsis orchids are kept dry you will see the growth of the orchids visibly the roots leaves and the spikes when kept in uh, dry conditions so for phalaenopsis orchids to grow properly they should be kept more on the drier side this is one phalaenopsis orchids which you have seen in one of my previous videos where i have talked about crown rot this orchid survived the crown rot as uh, i could apply the cinnamon powder in time and the crown was saved uh, it has grown two new leaves after that so crown rot is very very crucial and it uh, phalaenopsis orchid should be saved from crown rot at any cost Phalaenopsis orchids grow well in medium humid conditions during the summer months when they grow new roots and new leaves uh, keep them in medium humid conditions though they can uh, tolerate uh, high humid conditions and also low humid conditions as well this is not very crucial for phalaenopsis orchids but yes uh, they can do well in medium humid conditions for phalaenopsis orchids the medium should be coarse a mixture of uh, bark chips charcoal chips uh, brick pieces you can even use uh, small stones as medium because they need air around uh, the roots for their proper growth the roots should uh, get proper space to grow and uh, it should not be uh, you know tightly clogged in the media so that it doesn't get room for growth and also the water around the roots should dry up quickly because as i have always emphasized that uh, phalaenopsis orchids are very prone to root rot and hence there should be air circulation proper air circulation around the roots so that they dry faster and hence uh, it should uh, prevent uh, root rot and eventually the crown rot of the phalaenopsis orchids water retaining medium like sphagnum moss say uh, coconut husk should be used in lesser quantities and also in between the coarse material in phalaenopsis orchids spikes are generally formed in uh, late november to early december that is when winter has completely set in in my tropical climate spikes are formed in late october to initial of november this may vary for, uh, for some places but basically during the winter months spikes are formed and uh, spikes are generally formed from the leaf joints uh, as you have seen in one of my videos if the orchid has grown well during the summer months they will form new uh, nice spikes and there will be blooms and uh, they should they should get a place to form spikes from the leaf joints the buds take about 1 month to 1 and 1/2 month to fully develop into blooms the blooms uh, come in different varieties of colors and hybrid phalaenopsis orchids do not have any fragrance uh, the species the only species uh, phalaenopsis orchid that i have has a bit of smell 
but in general hybrid phalaenopsis orchids uh, do not have any fragrance so to summarize the care for phalaenopsis orchids you need to water them less keep them in mild humid conditions keep them away from direct sunlight and fertilize the hybrid phalaenopsis orchids regularly and they will reward you with uh, lush blooms spikes every year grow them well in summer months when they grow new roots and new leaves and hence uh, i hope that uh, I, uh, this video was helpful for you as you have seen uh, care is not that very critical it is very easy to take care just uh, keep in mind about uh, watering them less because uh, it will prevent crown rot and uh, it will prevent the death of the phalaenopsis orchids because phalaenopsis orchids are very precious according to me because they are very easy to care for and also keep in mind the difference in the daytime and the nighttime temperatures and uh, you will have nice blooms every year so thank you for watching my video Hope you like it, give it a like and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.